Thermostat is off. Coolant is still leaking out a little bit, so I'm just gonna tackle the valve cover, which seems quite easy. There's one, two, ten bolts all around. It's also M10, so this would be also a piece of cake. Let's see, that was loose. I don't have to worry about this valve cover cracking. This is out of aluminum, unlike the M52 plastic ones. So this seems, feels quite sturdy. Okay, bolts are all loose. So I'm gonna crack this open and see what lies inside. Okay, let's see. Doesn't look too bad. I mean, the engine does have 300,000 kilometers on it, but I mean, it's a little bit gunked up, but too bad, let's say. Shame. Okay. The cam profiles. I mean, it has some marks, but it's really, I can't feel anything, so. Overall, I would say not bad with that mileage. The next step is gonna be taking this front cover off so we can fix that leak here and while I have this off I'm gonna swap in a hot cam with a more aggressive profile. Is it gonna help performance this engine? I don't know. Maybe a little bit. I'm just gonna try it. Nothing to lose. Once the cover is off take the bolts off. Of course bring it first into top dead center position. There's actually an arrow here. Lock it with the tool and then this should be fairly easy to remove. Take the oil squirter line off and then just the cam shaft bearing bolts, the front timing here and that should be it. First order of business is to get the first cylinder into top dead center position. For this I'm gonna just turn the crank pulley and make sure this arrow will be facing up. You can tell that the cylinder, the valves will be closed since the cam lobes are not touching the rockers. Turning it over, somewhere there. Of course I'm gonna need to have, need to put the, uh, the cam locking tool on here to make sure that it's really flat and that the position is top dead center, but you can see here none of the rockers are pushed down, the lobes are free, first cylinder is in top dead center position. Cam locking tool comes from the set I bought a while ago, which includes various other tools for setting cam timing on BMW engines. This is M52 and I don't know, some other ones, which I'm not sure what it is. But anyway, we're gonna use this one. To check the correct position is you have to position this tool here with the, the cam and make sure that it's flat here and here and it goes on even, there's no play. And you can see the arrow is pointing up and the lobes are faced, this one is up. This one also is not touching the rocker, so the, the valves are closed for cylinder one. So we have our top dead center position for the first cylinder and can start disassembling the oil squirter line and then unbolt this. And probably the oil squirter line just has three bolts. This is M8, I believe, in the front. Then it has M12 and another M8 here. I'm just gonna crack these loose. The last one, M12 in the middle. Okay. Voila, here it is. All there is to it, really. See any o rings, seals, just a piece of cake, right? Next step to remove the front cover is to remove the camshaft sensor. I already unbolted it just to pull it out, more or less. It's a little bit gunky. We'll clean it up, just letting it hang out here. All the bolts are removed, so this should just come right out. Let's see. Okay, it came loose. Lift it up slowly. Okay. Wow. So someone used RTV or something to seal this. So let's inspect. First glance, it looks all good. The chain guides, tensioners are still intact. Don't see any plastic that broke off. Okay, it's a little bit gunky overall, but. That's to be expected at this age. Here I suppose it was leaking in this section here because of this gasket or this corner here not sealed properly. I hope that's what it was because you can see here the oil is gathering. I'm gonna replace all this with a new gasket, seal it nicely and then hopefully our oil leak will 
be fixed. But up next, we'll be actually getting the old cam out and putting the rig mount DP-LAS camshaft inside. <laughs>